Hello, grandchildren. Uh, today is Thursday, and I don't know what to talk about. I finished Harry Potter, all of them. I finished the last book. I was reading the audiobooks or listening to the audiobooks. Does it really matter? I don't care. Uh, I was listening to the audiobooks, and I finished the last one, and it was... Ah. Uh, mm, I don't know. That's the only accurate way to express my emotion right now. They were very good. Very, very good. I really want to watch the movies now. I've seen a couple of the movies, but not all of them. There's some people that think the movies are awful because the books uh, are so much better and they don't... The movies miss out on a lot of the things that the books do. And other people think that the movies are some of the best movies that ever have been made. But nonetheless, the books were incredible and I think you guys should read them because they're awesome. And uh, my goal right now until I leave for Australia is to make as many short films as I possibly can. And it actually gave me an idea for a short film that I really want to make that I'm getting really excited about that I want to write the script for very soon. It's just such a good world that J.K. Rowling made uh, for us to enjoy. And I think that it's well worth the time spent reading it. Also, I came back from work one day and little puppies were on the floor. That makes them sound like they're dead. Uh, they were running across the floor. And they're adorable. I don't know why we got them, but we have them. I don't think that they're ever going to replace Midgey, which is probably one of my most favorite dogs that I've ever had. And I still get really sad when I look at pictures of her, but they're, they're adorable still. One of them is named Joey. It's the black one. And he is very shy and adorable and soft. And the other one is not important enough to remember the name of. Also, I was thinking about why I'm doing this the other day. I mean, the purpose of this is so you guys, as my grandchildren, can see what life was like and uh, get to have like a little piece of me that'll never disappear even if I like die and stuff. Because I think that this, what I'm doing right now, would have been cool to have for like my grandparents. My problem is and maybe it's just because it's me that I'm looking at, not somebody else. Like, maybe if somebody else doing the exact same thing, maybe I wouldn't tr be looking at it as harshly. But I hate, like, everything I do. And I, like, I mean, I edit these videos, and then I try to forget about them as quickly as I can, because they're awful. If I see somebody else watching one of these journal entries, I want to turn around and walk out of the door, and then dig a hole, and then bury myself in that, and then... I don't know how I'd bury myself in that. This could present an issue in this scenario. Though I guess maybe I, I'll pay somebody else to bury me. Nah. It'd be easier just to pay somebody else to kill me. Is that illegal to pay somebody else to kill you? I, I feel like, I think, is it illegal to kill yourself? I think that's the biggest thing right there. Because I know that you can't really stop someone from killing himself, but is it technically illegal to kill yourself? I'm getting off topic. It's the same thing with music, because I really like making music, and I uh, I enjoy like playing the piano and playing the guitar. Uh, I am awful at all of those things, but I enjoy it. It's weird enjoying something that you never want anyone else to ever experience. I mean, you could probably talk me into doing a lot of stuff. I mean, my girlfriend talked me into doing the talent show last year at school, but I still did not like it. And, and if I watch a video of me doing the talent show last year, I... Oh. But for some reason, I keep doing these things that other people can see, and I don't really know why. I guess even if I hate the things that I'm doing, I know my goal is to, like, get better at doing music, and my goal for this is to uh, keep making these videos, because it's really easy to just stop. Because, and actually, that's kind of freaky. Uh, at any point in time, I could just say, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I could just delete all of these videos and you guys would never see them. And you wouldn't even know that they existed because I just decided not to do them anymore. And I deleted all of them. But I think that putting them on the internet and other people seeing them, regardless of whether I think that they're good, because I can't watch any of them. I've tried watching some of them and I was, I, I just hated it. But by doing that, I feel like kind of I feel like it kind of forces an obligation to finish them. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm gonna stick with it because it's kind of working. I, I put two songs on here for you guys to listen to, and I hate both of them. Neither of them are good. I, they're probably the worst pieces of junk that I have ever listened to in my life. If I listen back on them right now, but. Well, one I think it's kind of cool. Like maybe one day I might get okay. 
And then I could look back and go, wow, I was worse before. And that's really encouraging, actually, which it doesn't sound encouraging whatsoever. But it's really encouraging to see how much progress you've made. Because, like, I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of personality you have, and there's a lot of factors involved. But for me, at least, I know that, like, if I make something, whether it's, like, a song or, uh, like, a, a video or whatever, if I make something, I look at it and then I hate it with every bone in my body. But then I generally can recognize what about it I hate. And there's some things that you can't really control, like, I don't like my voice. The things that you can fix consciously. Like, I, I mean, like, if I play piano, when I'm playing it, it sounds perfect. If I play it back, and I'm not doing anything, like I'm not in the moment anymore, it sounds awful. And I notice every little mistake I made. So I feel like it's, I feel like it's a good self-analysis tool to make things... And especially if you make things that other people can see, regardless of whether that's a good decision or not. Because, like, by making these songs and putting them on here for you guys, I feel like I'm judging myself more harshly than if I just recorded the song by myself. And because of that, I feel like I'm improving a lot. Still not good. I'm awful. But improving. Which is kind of okay. I think that's it. Uh, I think I'm done for now. So, uh, next week, I'll see you guys. Or sooner, or later. I don't know. Uh, if you guys see me any time in the near future, grandchildren, um, you, we should make popcorn. But I'm going to show you how to make correct popcorn, because, like, microwave popcorn is awful. I, and I am definitely biased because of working at the movie theater, but I, I know how we made popcorn at the movie theater, so I'll help us make good movie theater popcorn at home, and it'll be a little adventure for all of us, and we'll probably get burned. Maybe you guys can get, like, matching oil burns. Like from when I was cooking that one time on here. I think this is permanent, to be honest. Nah. It's life. Permanent pain. See you guys. <laughs>